Rockers fans, how's it going? Travis Alonix here this Monday afternoon, just after two o'clock here, recording the Rutgers Virginia Tech preview week four. Rutgers coming off their first bye this season, sitting at sitting at two and zero. Oh. Virginia Tech coming off a win over Old Dominion. They sit at two and one on the season. Huge game, huge game before conference play begins. Um, a big time power four matchup, non conference, Rutgers Virginia Tech. Down there in Blacksburg, Virginia, great environment, Lane Stadium. Cannot wait, cannot wait. Should be a, a great game. Again, obviously, great atmosphere, great place to play, and should be a great battle between Rutgers and Virginia Tech. I just listened to uh, all the great channels, 12 minute press conference. Um, just said, uh, didn't say anything crazy, just uh, praised Virginia Tech first couple of minutes, talked about all their. The quarterback, their weapons on offense, the defenders, the job Brent Pride done in the program, where they come from uh, last year when we played them, and I uh, just kind of gave them all kinds of credit and how they are a really, really strong team. And kind of said he's not going to get into uh, any availability injury-wise. So they are healthier than, we're, than we were when you opened the season up against Howard, but still not all, not all the way back. And, uh, yeah, they asked about – uh, the bye week situation, it's kind of what he said. He kind of grouped the training camp and the first two games together. Now we got back to play. It'll be six straight games uh, for our second bye week. And then uh, readjust there. And uh, I said he did a lot of got the guys rest needed rest, got the guys reps that needed reps, and uh, then went out and recruited this weekend. So yeah, it was a good press conference. I asked him about playing. Uh, I think it's uh, Brian Partick asked him about playing Virginia Tech I think back in 02 and Greg Shannon was the. Head coach last time we played Virginia Tech out there in Blacksburg. And so kind of talked about that. But, yeah, that's about, about what we talked about. I mentioned Ryan Pissari. Dan, they asked him about how his job he's done. He said all good things about him. He was their uh, football administrator um, already. So now he's had uh, now transition's been seamless. And he's, uh, he's wants he's a guy that's going to uh, – wants it, wants to work hard to get, uh, get everything, um, get all the programs – uh, working smoothly in the right direction, and I uh, want something but the best for all the programs at Rutgers. So all good things there from Greg on Ryan Pissari in term AD. But now getting to the game. So Rutgers Virginia Tech uh, again, or at about a three to three to five point underdog going into the game. Um, we're coming in two and zero again off the bye week, first two weeks, forty four seven Howard, forty four seven win over Howard, forty nine seventeen win over Akron. Virginia Tech on the other end is coming in at. Two and one, as I mentioned. Um, they started the first game of the year, a tough, surprising loss, 34 27 on the road at Vanderbilt. Beat Marshall at home 31 14 in week two, and beat uh, Old Dominion on the road last week 37 17. Again, a very talented team, returned most of the starters from last year, more than Rutgers did. Um, they got better and better as the season went on last year after they played us with a 35 16 Rutgers win. A lot of guys banged up at a quarterback, quarterback situation. Was really unknown coming that game. And Drones took over during the game. Rutgers ran away with the game 35 uh, 16. Rutgers had a nice early lead 21 3 at the half. Tech scored, make it 21 10. And they uh, made a dice cut a little closer, close there in that third, fourth quarter. But the Rutgers pulled away with Common on guy exploding. Last year, he ran. 16 times for 143 yards and three touchdowns, 8.9 a pop, the long of 55 on third and one, uh, second half of the game. And uh, he drones, as I mentioned, his first start, I believe it was, 19 of 32, 190 yards, touchdown a pick, ran 22 times for 74 yards. This year has been playing pretty well. Last week, Old Dominion, 37-17, uh, 14-10 at halftime. Then uh, Virginia Tech kind of pulled away the second half. Win by 20. Drones. He's this big, big dual third quarterback. Shano said he's listed at like 230, but all, all, which all of uh, around 240 pounds. 15 and 26, 176 yards, touchdown a pick. Also ran the ball 12 times for 117 yards and touchdown with 9.8 yards along the 53. So he's a dual threat ability. Huge, big, strong guy. Tough to get down. Uh, shifty, break tackles. Really again, tough, tough to break, but bring down Kyron, Kyron Drones. They got a lot of good receivers. Mentioned Jalen Lane. He had seven for one of six last week. Touchdown, Ali Jennings, uh, Stephen Gosnell, Felton, Dequan Felton. He's great. Said it's for me, maybe the best receiving core, top three they're gonna play all year. So, yeah, it's gonna be a challenge, but um, 
The big thing is um, Kyle Manungai. Kyle Manungai just mentioned what he did last year versus him. What he's done first two games, uh, insane. Uh, I had to play in the fourth quarter, had 165 in week one, over 200 yards week two. Get him going. Get him going. The run defense is not good. Virginia Tech uh, just allowed 243 yards rushing to Old Dominion this past weekend. And at Bryce Duke for, uh, four for 85. Aaron Young, former Rutgers player, running back 17 for 67. A lot of other guys chipped in, rushing the ball as well. It's 243 yards allowed versus Old Dominion. So our O-line, which has been great the first two weeks, much improved. Pat Flurry taking over last year. Um, pound the rock, pound the rock, run ball all day. Mix in Nathan, making some throws all the way. Should be able to put up put up points. I think we're going to win this game. Um, the other thing is obviously containing drones. Um, get some pressure on him. Need D-line to step up. I got confidence secondary. Again, playing a really good receiving core, but I got confidence. Our longer beam. Eric Rogers, Juan Loyal. Um, put Dixon back there. Hopefully, Tyrene Powell plays this week against Virginia Tech. But Moses Walker, uh, Jabome, uh, they guys play well so far. But yeah, get pressure, get some turnovers, which would be huge. It would be big, uh, an early turnover last year against them. Win a turnover battle, run the rock. Uh, don't turn the ball over on offense. It would be fine. Uh, get, get, get an early lead out there in the atmosphere out there in Blacksburg. And I think Rutgers will win. Uh, 30 to 17, I'm going to say. Be tight and pull away in the fourth quarter on the legs of uh, Kyle Mlunga. And yeah, that's what I see happening. Um, definitely going to be a battle. Real good team. Surprising first loss, first game loss to Bandy, but they got the next two wins, two and one. But uh, yeah, going to road, first road game of the year. And uh, take care of business. Got to chop, chop, chop. Go out there, get a nice road win. Power Four Conference, ACC, Virginia Tech, Hokies. And go to three and zero before we come home for a Friday night blackout on Fox versus Washington. Open up Big Ten play. Yeah, that's about all I got. Uh, but you guys are rested up. Have a good week of practice. You ready to chop out there in Blacksburg? Uh, running back wise again, just want to mention more more offense. Getting O line playing real well. Manung guy. We'll see about Sam Brown, but um, Antoine Raymond playing real well. In relief of uh, Manung guy. The whole running back room is just stacked. Um, receiving core as well. Chris on the deep ball, which showed was great. It showed we can connect on those deep balls. Um, KJ Duff, first touchdown, and strong. Those guys confident in them, make some plays. So, yeah, let's go out there and beat Virginia Tech this weekend. Like I said, 30 to 17 is my score. Let me know you guys' thoughts, comments, all down below. Like up the video here. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Have a good one. Let's go. Rockers.